Now that we have our managements in the crops and operations pane for all three fields, we're going to move on to entering more information for our IET scenario by entering the soil climate information for the first field. To do that, we will click on the soil climate pane to expand the pane and notice that the IET interface will show the default soil and climate selections, which are based on the geographic location and the soil properties. The default dominant critical soil is determined by the soil that is more than 10% of the area with the highest K factor for water erosion and the soil that is more than 10% of the area with the highest sand percentage for wind erosion. The default soil map unit and component and the climate location can be changed if there are other choices available in the drop down list. You can also specify the percent rock cover for each selected soil. Placing your cursor over the information button at the top will provide more information. Another thing that you might want to do is display your soils map for the field so you can actually visually see the soils map and compare it to the default selections the IET selected. Notice in this field most of the unit or 72 percent of the field is the Arc Sabin Silty Clay Loam 7207. Those can be changed and for the wind erosion it's also the same soil because it has the highest sand percentage. It chose that soil for water because it had the highest erodibility factor. So you can make changes based on the map itself or you can actually choose the drop down that it shows you the percentages of the different soils in the field. We're going to leave the default selection as uh, IET defaulted.